this was part of my morning practice this morning. Um, I decided to do a somatic practice using the Puna yoga chair. Um, you can see immediately once I sat down, I sensed into my body and I noticed some tightness in my neck. So I began to explore that um, and just see where it led me. Um, sometimes I like to go into things that feel tight and try to open them up a bit, but I never want to force anything um, or create much pain for myself. So it's, it's finding that happy medium. And then, you know, not necessarily letting discomfort be the only uh, thing that draws my attention. Um, but of course, I am warming up and getting ready to go into my day. So that is a particular focus here. Um, finding places that feel stiff or um, tightened up from the evening slumber and uh, getting them ready to function in the world, right? And you could see that I was uh, following some stuff and it kind of twisted me around there. And I begin to notice my seat on the chair and the pressure of the seat on my buttocks and my back and so from starting up at the neck in the upper body I, my focus starts to come into my middle back my lower back my buttocks and the shoulders because there's a lot going on with the arms now um, and then the neck really releasing and lowering down finding my way here releasing the jaw releasing the neck further opening the shoulders all things that just feel delicious like a cat stretching its back out in the morning getting ready to go mousing <laughs> I was just really getting into the way the uh, chair compress into the lumbar region um, and just getting rid of any lingering tightness back in there and I stopped and just enjoyed that one spot for a while until I felt called to move around a bit more I think that might have been when I started getting into really the, the glute massage and really giving myself a nice uh, glute massage there. And it's funny, I sort of half felt called to do the other side, but I was also liking the flow down to the floor and so I just, you know, you have to pick one. And I ended up going with the flow down to the floor, as you'll see. The other thing that's kind of funny here is I did not intend to be in front of the camera like this. That just happened by quite by accident. In fact, I thought my upper body would be out of camera range at that point. Um, I didn't realize how much foreground <laughs> was being photographed or cinematized or whatever, filmed, I guess is the word. Anyway, and then I really felt that nice pull in the arms and the shoulders. I'm holding on to the chair legs. And uh, I guess it's sort of a modified shoulder stand here. Um, again, these things are just things that happened, not things that I was intending. So and that's the practice. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.